another episode of the Danger Zone Podcast. This is officially episode two. With me today, we have Marty and Maria Mulder, Tim and Don Solomon. They uh, came down from Holland, Michigan to help us out at my dad's property, the bait shop in Pearson, to get it ready for Danger Fest this year. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. That means, that, that means a lot, you know. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know that's a long way to come and it was brutally hot. <laughs> it was a little warm. Yeah, brutal good work hot. Out. That's a good work out. You know it's hot when my dad doesn't want to work. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? actually. He was one I was worried no. about him, man. I saw him, you know, kind of looking a little queasy there. So I'm glad we did stop. Times, but yeah. yeah, we got some sun yesterday. Cutting wood is not an ideal thing to do in 90 something <laughs> green weather, man. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully we can chip away at that wood pile and make some more room. But Ultimately, I think we're going to have more than enough room for everybody. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have more than we did in two, two years ago. And how many did we have last year? I don't remember. Was it close to 40? Yeah, last year we ended up with, I think it was almost 50, actually, because it ended up being a lot bigger than we anticipated it was yeah. going to turn out to be. Because we were originally thinking only like 30 people. Just ones that wanted to yeah, because I wasn't sure if I was even going to do it. Right. We were yeah. kind of letting everybody kind of. We were, that's why we didn't even establish a throw because we were like whatever anybody wanted to do that was going to come just because of COVID and didn't yeah. want people to be and then more people showed up than we even anticipated that's why a lot of things were kind of last minute because we weren't we yeah. really sure we thought there'd be people just come hang out and do whatever I didn't even feel throw. right calling it Danger Fest last right. year it was, yeah. it was just a throw but we call it Danger Fest now but at the time it didn't seem I mean, it didn't, it seem, didn't seem right appropriate, you know, like of how the year was. you get used to a certain group of people being at these things all the time. And, and when all those people can't come, it doesn't seem the same. Yeah, but the same. Well, we had a bunch of new people. All of, you, all of you Michigan people came last year and it was it's it still, was a different vibe, but it was still a fantastic time. Yeah, Everyone had a great time. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, still yeah. Amazing. For, it's worth the trip. Yeah. You know, it was fun. Hell yeah. Awesome. For our second throw, I think, that we've ever been to. So. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... We talked about that a little bit last night, but you guys didn't really count your own throws. That's basically no, the same thing, right? Yeah. And how many of you had at your house? Um, the women. Maybe three or four. Yeah. Well, we've been to a couple of the women. We've been to three, <clears throat> but one was just a, a get together. Yeah. 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 One yeah. just did as a yeah, couple, so we just did as a fun get together. We, but. we were at the the pumpkin throw, the Halloween, yeah. the Halloween, Halloween, Halloween one, Halloween. and then that was the fun one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was the fun. The, uh, and then the two WWK. Events. Yeah, the yeah. Battle of the Blade Maidens. Yes. That was the last two one. Two of those. Yeah. But we've been to. They do the. That's the big thing. Um, is they do a women's and separate men's one of learning. They just do an invite like September twelfth. I think is their next yes. ladies invite for yeah. two hours. Visitors. Yep. They and. Uh, so I'm gonna let them explain that. I'm going to wear a dress and go to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. I'm I'm gonna gonna you, might get in. you never know. I feel left out. Right. I don't know anything about knives. What is yeah, you guys want to talk about um, your range? How would you get into that? How would you, you know, you got one of the best ranges I've ever been to at your house. It really did start with WWK because yeah. um, we, yeah, have, we were kind of deciding where to hold the Battle of the Blade Maidens knowing that we had, I think, 20 or so. Uh, women registered or interested in throwing that mm -hmm. first bigger one. And it was like the second one that they, that Kelly had thrown. Um, and then we were just deciding on where to do it. And we hadn't really decided yet. And so mm -hmm. we were doing our planning committee meetings. And I know Maria even came over the day and we just walked outside and I had my iPad and was like, well, we have this. Well, then the next meeting we had, we did it at the property. And as soon as we kind of saw that, then Kelly kind of got us in touch with the Michigan guys, Michigan. right? The Michigan Andy blade Michigan throwers, the uh, uh, Brent White Knight and Brent, Bill, and Bill Jim, and Jim, Jim, and Brandon, and Brandon, and Brandon yeah. Mike Hoppish. And Brandon lives right down the road from us, really, like yeah. five minutes. Um, so he's, we're actually used to throwing with him like once a week. and. He does has done some teaching out there, probably more than Tim and I have encouraged it. Right, we've I've done we've done it. Marie and I mentoring for women's, and I actually do taxes on the side kind of thing. <laughs> and when people came to pick up their taxes during COVID, it went out into July, 
and the range was built in June for the women's Bla Battle of the Blade Maidens, the first yeah. Battle of the Blade Maidens, I think. That was, was when you guys the, had five target or lanes uh, set up, right? Four, we actually had four, but then four we had lanes. two portables that we sure. put next to right. okay. them. So we did yeah. have six lanes technically, oh, cool. but... Right. Yeah, and we did like speed knives at that last one very far away from right. kind of everybody else and that yep. kind of thing. But that was the first, and then that's how we kept it until this past yeah, then this past yeah. year. Oh, well, you got them, them deck pieces. Yeah, Brent, spread it out. Brent does construction yeah. and got us a couple of big deck pieces, three of them actually, and we just extended our wall. And Good we have board. You know, nine full way. lanes and a yeah. tent skinny lane. So, I yeah. mean, it, it's. And then we grown. took the two remotes and we added the five targets on those, and those are in the backyard now. Yeah. So we still have actually two more <laughs> lanes in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. Just off the back, yeah. Great. Yeah, so we were kind of hoping that. You know, at this Visitor's Day, September 12th, for the women, um, that's on a Sunday, it's kind of just to let people know what it's all about and see if they'd even be interested, right? Because right. some people may have come last year to Visitor's Day and thought, oh, gosh, I thought this was going to be for me, but, it, you know, my passion's really this, and I'm not going to have the time to dedicate to even six league nights or days or whatever it is for that team, because you kind of pick your own Mm -hmm. days that you're going to do yeah. six league days but <clears throat> yeah with your team you get together yeah. that's what it all kind of started with and and the michigan blade the michigan guys all came and pitched in and they were like this is going to be great because we happen to have a i don't even know what size it is that cement pad on the side but of our our house like 28 60. by yeah, it's like 30 by 60 cement pad nice. yeah. that we turned into the range. It's perfect. Though. With lines. We used to mark our camper on it, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. We'll make a range out of it, you know. Yeah. It used to be a dirt bike track. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he used Back to jump cars, you know, yeah. over that cement pad too when he We'd had. We'd like jump cars and yeah. Track and cars. Yeah. 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 That's what I mean. And it's been, been, was yeah. a lot of fun. It's been a, a, a ramp and a jump, and, and we've never used it for anything more than yeah. that. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, yeah, let's throw a range up here and. Yeah. The six lanes seemed really nice, really. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then now that it's all, now that it's nine full lanes and nice painted white, yeah. you've got, it's nice. you know, John Jones who pitched in all the, gave us the idea of the mud flaps underneath to kind of prevent That's nice. yeah. any yeah. knives from going yeah. underneath the target so yeah. you're not Closing. out behind looking for anything. And yeah. yeah. Now it's rare like, now that we look for a knife. That's great. Yeah. Which is useless yeah. You can get access to that stuff, you know. So. Yeah, that, that works out really yeah. good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, between um, Jeff and Kelly and, and Bill know, right? and Jim and Bill Brent, and, and then we always have yeah. help. John and Candy are always there helping. Anne and her husband came and helped. Um, and Maria Kelly. and Marty. Kelly yeah, and Jeff and Kelly are, nice. are kind of like the staples as well. Yeah. And Brandon, he was there helping dig the, you know, four foot holes. And even yeah. some of the the men that were invited because Brandon and Tim and Jeff kind of started doing a men's, not yeah. necessarily a league, but hey, are you guys aware this sport exists type thing? And yeah. are you interested in learning it at all? And if you are, hey, show up on this Sunday yeah. and we'll be out there throwing some, get together, some steel. Teach people, get people interested. And it... it Every time I've done that, never threw a tomahawk, you know. Yep. Yeah. Ten, I mean, we've filled yeah. all the lanes oh, every time they've done nice. that. Yeah. 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 So, and we do also go out there with them a lot, and we don't mind having the guys out with us. But when we do our leagues um, with the women, we kind of do it just to have fun, and it's a, it is kind of more of a getaway themed outing and things like that that mostly women would probably yeah don't you guys like uh, get into dress up and stuff dress up. Yeah, we do theme yeah. themed nights well, so there's only six <laughs> throws right so you're planning yeah, pajama night or you know yeah, yeah we did i mean yeah so that's why you'll see some of our videos where we're like you know i think one of kelly's videos one of her teammates was throwing speed knives in her robe and yeah stuff like yeah. that but that's why and i mean some people i mean every team comes up with their own thing they had the glow theme that yeah, was that pretty was neat really cool. Where you've got the glowing, um, I think the red team did too, the Slay Sisters, but yeah. it's pretty neat. You know, you get to come up with all these fun names and do all these fun things and kind of act a little bit crazier than maybe you would if you would be maybe more reserved if there was other people around. But yeah. Girls yeah. can cut loose. Right. We cut loose. Yeah, there's cool. only there's only the six of us or seven. Well, how many are on your team, right? Yeah. You can go anywhere from what? Four right. to, to like, the pink team was really large this yeah. year and was yeah. like 12. 
Oh, wow. um, but we recommend to try to stick around six, you know, so you got to get Just everybody together because you, you got to pick all the same times. Everybody's got to be there. You know, really it's the best time. One of the gals on our team is second shift. So, um, we do ours on the weekends. Most of the teams do theirs during the week on a Friday night or, right. you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. some, you know, women like to have drinks afterwards. Some, you know, maybe don't. Maybe they have something else how that they do. How many teams are there now for WWK? I was going to ask you how many people, how many women are total. There's 61 women Damn. signed up for this past 2021, 20, 20, you know, 20 to 21. And it evolved over what two years or? Yeah. Um, no, since she started it in 2013, I believe, oh. with just three of them, and then so they expanded okay. team by team and. Um, you know, some of it. all, a, yeah. a lot yeah, of the colony, original teams you know, you all find still All your friends in your county. Yeah. 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 Well, and I well, know, MBT I know is growing to Ohio as well. Yes. So it's yes. starting to really branch out to get more. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed that of the community that you guys have built in Michigan and how willing everyone is to help. And I, I'm, I'm jealous of that, and, but I don't really have the room at my place, but right. At one point, I did have a lot of people coming over all the time, and we were having a lot of fun, you know, throwing and scoring and whatnot. And good way to pass time, you know. Yeah, it was fantastic, it was and to push each other and, and get better. And yeah. for yeah. whatever reason, everybody you can school each other, moved you know, on, and like that. gets busy. Yeah, well, you get busy, well, but I do think like the UCAT, the two week UCAT competition, that was just fun, right? We did it kind of in pairs, um, right. two people throwing at a time. Videoing the live video Which is cool for you know, like you yeah. can't Two things. people scoring, two people throwing, just like it would be at a competition. And then one person was videoing, and you know, you'd go up and get the scores and come back, and the people would score, and there wouldn't be, you know, a lot of distraction from whatever was going on. And I just think that, that was it was it made it more fun, like a more of a right. live competition, you know. Um, so we were like, yeah, well, that was really cool. It was only a two week thing, right? Um, or a two participation i guess thing um but it was all of them it was you know hawks and knives and and no spin and double bit even yeah. they had now so that was the championship thing of w over uk they're gonna roll out a season oh so, yeah that um, see and i thought that was really fun to do at the range right with more people yeah. And not just having the one set of three targets like we have in the barn. We've got one set of three targets on one side, and we could have, right. like, the end grain targets on the other side if we wanted. And we could have two in there, but that's max capacity there, probably. Yeah, right. But outside, it was fun. I know Maria and I did the UCAT participation one, and we ended up throwing the tomahawks outside until yeah. November yeah. last Gosh. year. Because, yeah. if, you know, you're going back yeah. to seven meters. Right. You're throwing a tomahawk. Nice to throw that outside. Just nicer to throw. How far outside. do you have in your garage? You can still three spin in there, can you? You yeah. can. Yeah, yeah, I got eight meters. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think not I can. quite a three well, spin. If, you I, can if we go, go all one the way, way back. I mean, we got uh, what is it, barn? So I got probably 25, 25, 30 feet if yeah. we just throw the one way. But mm -hmm. I got uh, targets at each end of the barn, so you know, for their leagues or whatever, I'll yeah, set the yeah, one end yeah. up, and That's you cool. can you can do. Uh, five meters both ways. Right. Oh, that's without, fantastic. Without problem. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so the barn really has two ranges yeah. at the same time. Yeah, your yeah. property's set up perfectly for, nice. for knife throwing. And, you know, yeah. that nice. way that slab's there, it's perfect. Your garage is big enough to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, adding those two remotes in the back, too, with the double bits, I mean, just, I think it was the first time for a lot of the women that ever threw. A double bit axe like that and they didn't i'm sure they thought they would never throw a double bit axe somewhere it's it's thick, right. in their it life thick, i mean you know, it's yeah. tough. and they were throwing and they were sticking and them and sticking them. they like, were doing very well with and it was raining and the look on their face was like they the were prices. so yeah. happy you know just and that's why we do it that 100 percent. and we have fun i mean gosh we have fun and plus we get to see cool people like you throw and throw between ladders and hang out. through the pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. All the chicks. Yeah, plus we get to hang yeah. out. We get to watch you throw around Kelly. You know, life I mean, short. You know, you have fun. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had to <laughs> had to broadcast Tim's latest wins because you know I have been at it probably practicing more than Tim, but he's certainly a natural at it. He's he's you, he's you didn't throw up. in the beginning, right? 
that no, was just Gon's I, thing. Yeah, when I first started, both of us. Yeah, yeah. When I, I wanted to touch when we first got into it, uh, I could not throw a rotational knife to save my butt. And he was, was ready to give up. I really, I hated didn't even it. carry a knife, right? I didn't you know, like it. You ever have a knife you know, in your pocket? You know? And Brandon yeah. McAlfish was there helping and he teaching us a lot. And somehow I get into throwing his spikes, and all of a sudden I was doing good at no spin. Yeah. I can do no spin from everywhere. And yeah, Brandon was like, whoa. It took me probably three months and finally I was like, I got to get this rotation down. So I, I got to figure something out, you know. So I went out there and just started sticking with it. and With my Griffin, yep, right? with the Griffins. Mm-hmm. And finally started getting rotation. I was like, all right, cool. Now now I'm into the game a little bit, you know. Yeah. Because I was very mm-hmm. frustrated. I had already quit. I did not want oh, to throw you it get, you get upset. Yeah. You know? oh, he but wasn't. I just couldn't figure it out. But yeah. there is no way that Bill would probably let you do that because even bill forced marie and i to throw our first no spin ever yeah because they came one day yeah. with the try it before you buy it i'm gonna yeah. call it Bedrick. dashies <clears throat> yeah, yeah and they came with those and yeah. marie and i are like yeah no we're not gonna be the first ones a to throw at these targets because they had never been thrown at before we just put them up and they're like yes you are you're gonna do it and we're like you want us to throw a, a nose knife at these? We've never even thrown a nose spin knife. Right. And and Bill Bednarik was like, nope, you're going to do it, and I'm going to have you start this way. And he literally oh, wow, yeah. taught us chuck. how to throw a nose spin knife from at least the front line before yeah. we were walking away. Probably right. took him maybe five minutes. I mean, we started just dropping it, yeah. right? But it was the dashies, those try it before you buy it. Yep. And they were really, really lightweight. And I think Kelly calls them diet. Griffins, diet, 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 diet dashies. dashies. Yeah. We have, so Tim's got diet Griffins and he's got diet dashies. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, the ones I use for no spin is the diet ones. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I enjoyed the quarter inch and the three sixteenths yeah. for different reasons. I like to throw the three sixteenths ones uh, half spin. No, oh, yeah. okay. I take the half spin more than I do. A little more weight. Yeah, it's it's less it taxing on my arm because yeah. I got a snap. Yeah. And and I like the quarter inch ones for longer distances for no spin. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's been throwing, and then he was doing those little skinny ones from like seven, eight meters. You know, the yeah. diet dashies. That's awesome. <laughs> he was like, yeah. that's far. And then he was doing so good at that, but then he couldn't yeah. get rotational. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then he lost rotational. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what's cool about knife throwing. There's so many different things that you can do. There's yeah. you know knife, tomahawk, no spin, half yeah. spin. There's you know even yeah. circus stuff, impalement. You know. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what nothing that we've even gotten into yet is like half spin or you know doing the different styles of throwing. We're yeah. Just, Sticking with a regular rotation, you know, no spin and tomahawks at this point. Yeah, right? I've seen John Jones do some fun newbies. stuff like We're that, the newbies, underhand so. throws and that. Because yeah. we've only been throwing for, this October will be two years I'm Yeah, saying, that we've only been throwing yeah, since we first yeah. started. But You've least, been throwing for two years too? Yeah. Not me. Maria yeah. and I kind of started yeah. Yeah. together yeah. with About the, year, yeah, maybe. the three of us. Not quite a year. Not yeah. Quite. Yeah. yeah. Well, the guys have been working in cars. It's done good already, though. Yeah. It I is see. nice that the more yeah. you throw, the better you get. Couples, you know, it's like something anything, for couples you know, to do yeah, if they're yeah, both interested fun. in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the past few days I was sitting home alone, and I just sat at home and just do. You know, what I mean, well, what else you got to do? Is go out there and throw some knives. You know, it's yeah. kind of a meditation Chuck too. Some hatchets. That's yeah. how you figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Too. Yeah. 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 That's all yeah. you're thinking about at that time is just pump weird. up the radio mm-hmm. and just yeah. you know hang out and yep. toss some stuff. Neighbor kid come over and he's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "Yeah, I started." You know, showing him, he's like, I'm like, how old are you? He's like, 14. He's like, you know, and he started chucking him. That's and then cool. He, then he brought his little brother over the next day. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, yeah, I'm too tired now, dude. It's Friday, you know. I'm like, I'm done throwing right now, yeah. I'm like, come back when I get home or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, they're all excited about it. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fun. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think, I think they just heard the blades, the... you know. Ting. Dropping them, yeah, whatever. But, yeah. That's what got my tax they people. come running over. Right, a lot of the people and I do guys taxes for. Immediately after you started, like, put on a tournament, a competition for a throw storm. We attended it. Because we started we throwing in October, in October, and that yeah. competition was in January, and Kelly yeah. talked us into going, and yeah. we were like, We've only thrown for two or... months. We don't know what we're yeah. doing. No, and just Brandon go. Was also, but, just yeah. go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we had a ride. You'll have a good time. time. Yeah. Anybody listening that's, you know, worried about. Yeah, they're intimidated about going to a competition. Good, yeah. I think I said it during the last episode too. It's it's yeah. not really like a competition. You're just yeah. going to compete with yourself. Yeah. yeah. The only thing, the only event that you really compete with other people is fast draw. 
And all you can do is learn. I mean, people yeah. show you. Like, oh, yeah. All you yeah. can do is yeah. learn. Every if you, time you go, don't know how to do something, learn, someone yeah. will be willing to show you. Absolutely. Yeah. And everybody's super cool with uh, all their knives and hawks. Yeah. You know. Um, they are. And yeah. some of that stuff ain't so cheap. Friendly. You know, I mean, if they let you toss them, you know, that's, that's yeah, just, just about nuts. anybody's like, well, try it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's really cool. It's like, it oh, is. did you want to try this one? It's like, oh my gosh, you're going to let me throw that? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and going to a throw, you'll be able to put your hands on so many different oh, knives yeah. Yeah. that you oh, would never, you know, it's not homemade. And, and yeah. You go buy a Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Just, well, seeing uh, something online yeah. too, like on Facebook or whatever, yeah. it's totally different than like, oh, well, I like that. You know, yeah. you can get to go and ask like, oh, can I see that? Or can I throw that? Yeah. You get a chance to throw it before you buy it. You know, yeah. Yeah. that's the cool thing about going yeah. to throws too. It yeah. is. It is. And they always, they usually have stuff sitting out just for that. I know I've opened other dishes. Yeah. 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 Lewis is letting everybody throw his stuff. Yeah. And he had an absurd amount of uh, crazy influence. Yeah. Like, yeah. Chris I, I was like, how do you have so many different designs? Chris Davey, too, as well. I know. Yes. And they have some crazy cool designs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Crazy cool. Oh yeah, there's Marty. There's the range there. right there, man. Uh, oh, it's Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The old range. That's the yeah, old. That's, that's the, the old, old range. Yeah, that looks like yeah. it was last that was beginner. Fall. That was yeah. beginner yeah. range. Oh, that yeah. was you and Brandon. Yeah. When I was still probably trying to learn and figure it out. September ish. Or... We had clothes on, so I'm well, going to guess October. Yeah. Yeah. It was well, leaves we, are getting we, did we, we went have coats on when we out there in um, October. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flannel for sure. We were definitely yeah, there's the new range right there. By the, oh, that's yeah, the old one. Or, no, that's still old. That's the old one. When you got the lights, though, you put yeah. the lights in. Yeah, I took the lights pictures. went in. See, the heaters were out. So yeah, the heater was that out. That had to have been about the time we were doing the That was just sad. That's probably just my Instagram stuff, oh, which I posted right. a few yeah. things right at a ton. Well, the yeah. True Balance team. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean. It's... What model knife is that? That was the Model 70, and it looks just like yours. That's why I was going to check yours out. Yeah, I think. Um, there were two of them. He did a strange one grind on one. it, though, because yeah. it doesn't really follow the pattern. It goes Both in sides a little, are little bit, different. which I like that. Yeah. That's what I liked about the blade. Yeah. Yep. The only thing I don't like about the, the knife is the finish. Like I said, I'm not used to throwing that, that high of a polish, and it's a little bit slick. Yeah. So, But that knife is... One of the best knives I've ever thrown by the handle, man. I was stoked on it. I, I threw know, it for at I'm, least an I'm hour the first night I got it. Excited to get my very first set of ones that I can actually throw. So all of the ones I have are collectors. Um, the ones that we just got just recently from, I think, Jim and Bill. We literally were like, they have never been thrown. You know, oh, you guys got some of those too? Oh, from the from the eighties or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. 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 That one time he came over, he found whatever at the uh, garage sale or whatever yeah. it was, mm-hmm. or yeah, online, and he just got a whole bunch. Yeah, of them. they hit like, the mother load. Yeah, I mean, that's like a it was, uh, it was a, a holy grail find. Yeah. Yeah. actually, I did a really long video on yes. it. Yes, yeah, you did. Yep. You did, and yeah, so I ended up getting the ones with the red sh- the red sheets. Yeah. And Tim got a set of the pro throwers that were, I think, Stephen McAvoy. Yeah, well, Stephen made them. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a priceless picture right there. Uh, there yeah, Brent and Brent. Tim. See, oh, and it's yeah. kind of cool because Brent and Tim are in this one. Jeff and right? Tim are in the other. That's uh, that was in um, Chillicothe, Ohio. That was a couple weekends ago. The yeah. blade aces. Uh, the blade yeah. aces. Bro. Throw. The good, the bad, and the uh, oh, ugly. The aces. 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 Good, yeah. the bad, and the aces. aces. Yeah. Yes. yeah. This is awesome. Uh, we yeah, also got to see. Uh, put on a nice Chris oh yeah! Lord. So last time we were here, um, Lauren and Sam were here, and we talked about them getting married. So we could talk about that a little bit. That's one of the coolest weddings I've ever seen in my life. Oh my yeah, gosh. it was awesome. Yeah. It was yeah. the knife family on one side and the real family. On the yeah, other it was side. it was, so was chill as hell. Awesome. Everybody was just in their street clothes, you know. And uh, I got to throw yeah. around the couple. Yes. Well, it was kind of uh, cool yeah. because both Sam and Lauren, I think, were throwing up until participating in the exactly. competition up until like an hour before, before they got yeah. married. Yeah. 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 And, and they were like, oh, I guess we better quick yeah. change. Yes. But they, there's, yeah, the... Her profile picture, Alex, was uh, uh, right there. Uh, that is yeah, that right there. Yeah, down. that's them walking through. Yeah, yeah. The the we're, we're, in, we're part yeah. of the archway. That was, that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Well, it was really one of the family members. I don't even know which one it was. She was an elderly lady kind of come. But uh, she thought it was really cool. We were holding her knives, and I had actually grabbed two knives in case danger came over by me. So I had one, but he was busy doing something else at that point. But it so happened I had two, and she's like, oh, that would be really cool. That's right. So you give her one? So I I let her. I was like, here, I have a knife. And so she's actually 
holding it up you. there awesome. to be part of it. Yeah, I'm sure it's something uh, I thought they it was weren't pretty expecting neat. either, you know. No. I, I think cool. that oh, they let Griffin, a lot of their know? family know yeah. kind of what was going on. Right. But it definitely was the first time most of them have seen anything yeah. like that. So yeah. I, I was getting a little couple strange looks from some of the family when I was, you know, practicing, practicing throwing yeah. around them, you know. Yeah. I'm so glad I didn't fuck that up. I'm serious. Like, I was yeah. a little bit nervous. Um, that's a big deal, you know, and everybody was like, I think Zach was recording me live. I'm like, oh. But um, uh, it, there was talks. Until we found out that Ron had already became ordained or whatever, uh, they had oh, talked yeah, about yeah. wanting me to marry them, and I was oh. like, "Man, that's a lot of pressure, dude. Yeah, I don't right. know." Yeah. But, but it would have been funny. It, it would it would have been funny. Actually, yeah. Owen, I told him about it, and he went ahead and got ordained. Mm -hmm. You can do it online. It's yeah, like right. no big deal. But, and they, it was really cool that since they'd already had their rings from whenever they got engaged, that they exchanged knives. Yeah, that, yeah. that was yeah, cool. That was yeah. cool. With the snake yeah. hiding web. That's I mean, part that of their life. Cool. I mean, that's their main it's, part of their life, it's right? It's what they... Yeah, they're, they're really into it. it I, I just awesome. realized I didn't introduce you. I know you didn't. It's okay. Damn it. I'm sorry, everybody listening. Uh, <laughs> this is my beautiful girlfriend, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I, I knew it. It was okay. I figured <laughs> people would realize when I started talking that I was here too. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Everybody knows you. Right. Yeah. It's fine. That's good. She's the glue that keeps me together. And, you know, <laughs> if it wasn't for Alicia, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. That's for sure. Yeah, girl. Someone's got to keep me in line. I need a strong partner right there with him. So. It brings us to uh, Danger Fest. That's the next one, right? The last yeah, podcast. Yeah, we well, Thro about... Throcella is happening right now yes. at Sarnia Valley Axe in uh, Sar Sarnia, Canada. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's Canada. It's Canada. It is Canada, but it's yeah. like they have different provinces or something. Yeah, I never know. I don't know. Anyway, it's in Canada and everything's going on right now. I was actually talking to Marcus Method on the way here. Uh, they said it was brutally hot. The oh, humidity okay. was a big it factor. It is hot there, though. So they, yeah. they but you think about it, they're just on. They're not far from where Throw Storm was at. Yeah, they're not right. far yeah. from Brent. Just across the... They're, they're 20 minutes across. from Brent. Yeah. So, yeah. And Damn. he's on the other the side of he Michigan. Yeah. yeah. The, last, the, the time before. The time before. Because yeah. that's where he goes to throw in his league or whatever, his axe league, in there, into Sarnia. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he's like, yeah, it's 20 minutes away, so... Well... Yeah, he said it's actually closer for him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Danger Fest is coming up September 17th to the 19th. Hit me up if you're interested in checking that out. Uh, then the throw after that is the boobs throw. It's a breast cancer awareness throw hosted by Goldie. Uh, where? What? It's Sonia, Ontario. Sonia, Ontario. Okay. Yeah. But where is Goldie's? Goldie's yeah, is, it's, um, it's in Texas. It's. I don't remember the spot that she, it's by her house. Isn't it's it? by her house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at her house. It's at her house. Yeah, she yeah, moved it to her house. Say, it's at her house. Yeah. Her house. So it's at her house. You actually have to get a hold of her for specific directions and address to it. Just okay. because she doesn't want to post her address. Yeah, look up uh, Goldie Locks on Facebook for information it's about that. But it's actually under boobs. I just searched right. it. So if you search boobs on Facebook. Lays out or bust. Um, that's, that's what it is. That's what yeah. it yeah. is. It is a breast cancer awareness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, goodness. I mean, this one, so. and the reason I wanted to go to this one, and I'm not a big fan of wanting to fly with all of my stuff, but it's not that big of a deal. They know. will go through your shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I do is I print off something where I'm going and why I have what I have. And then I tape all my knives together. And as long as your knives don't weigh over, yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. So that will be different, right? Traveling that yeah. way instead of traveling, driving, which has been every other thing that we've done. But I did sponsor a lane for myself. Huh? Being an 11 year survivor. Nice. That's awesome. In October, it will be. It will be well, eleven years. Well, it will be eleven years yeah, of survivor. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, That's my awesome. last. Ironically, my last radiation treatment was in October. So, and that happens to be Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is. We're going. That's why we'll we're going. There. Okay. You are going. Yep. That'll yeah. be awesome. I unfortunately, I cannot 15, go. I don't have any more vacation time. I won't either. 
luckily my boss is being cool and giving me a few extra days yeah. so I can handle Danger Fest. That's because cool. there's getting to be so many pros. Like we, oh, I know. know. It's, 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 it's it's so yeah. many it's more crazy. now. Yeah. Like it's before, awesome. Like just a few it years is, ago, but... it was it was the World Championship every other year in Texas. Joe's throw, and then my what? Blade Aces when they had their Vegas. Their spot. Vegas one, yes. And then my throw. That was. But Vegas basically was hard. It. For us oh. to get to, because at that point you had to choose Texas or Vegas, because you're flying to both. Yeah, you know, like it's yeah, and that's what sucks about. It's cool that there's so many, but it yeah. sucks that you start to have to choose yeah. like, which one you're going to go to. Right. And yeah. you know, uh, that makes it hard. You know, there's one in July in Big Bear, Big Bear that Bill Grasso puts on. Right. And August is played aces now. September's mine. Don't plan to throw in September. <laughs> September's mine. <laughs> and then uh, October, you know, Goldie's taken that over since the. Um, Mike Baton had to get rid of the property there, uh, so that's no longer going to happen. I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, the World Championship moved exclusively to Canada, which I'm not, you know sad about that because it's hard for me to get across the border. But yeah. and then the next one, we're trying it appears that we're possibly trying to get Pro Storm. I'm yeah. going to say probably January. January. Right. Well. So, that is a thing, but in the works. Blades in the Glades is also in oh, January. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. So, and I had a really good time yeah. down there. It, it was cool. Like it was fun. It was, it was chill. The targets were not good, but we still had a great time. That's okay. They were, whatever. Right. But, um, and then uh, one that's happening on Valentine's Day that's invite only is in Puerto Rico. Right. Stash Kelly moved to Puerto Rico. Oh, really? And right. someone talked him into having a, a the oh, throw no there. Way. And he says, you can't have that many people. You only invite like 10. Oh, wow. And uh, man, he invited me. And I was like, dude, I would love to go. I don't even have to have a passport to go to Puerto Rico. So yeah. Yeah. never been. Right. I, I really want to go, but I already already said I was going to go to Blades in the Glades. And Throw Storm, I will absolutely, yeah. I'll, I'll go to that too because it's, you know, in Michigan. Yeah. So I, I don't know, man. Right. I have to start. Figuring yeah, out. I, I, I want to go to all of them. Yeah, all exactly. of them. Every single one. It's yeah, it's right. always a good time. Yeah, and like it, I say, there's just so many of them now. Yeah, like, oh. and it, it sucks when you can't go and support your friends. Yeah, because yeah. it, it takes a lot to put on these things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of effort, a lot of time and money. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. but I am glad that in each region they're getting more and more. So even though we may not be able to get to Georgia or California or Texas, there's regions it's closer yes. for people Correct. like yeah. so there. there's yeah. people that on that area that can get there that can't as Come often they get to michigan way. or us right. or joe's or so at least there's more that are branching out so that yeah yeah i mean it just sucks when you want to make them all though and you want to you know yeah if, you, if you're listening to this and you're thinking about having a throw i say just do it just right. do it you'll figure it out it'll work out you know, yeah, so you know, it's, it's a learning that. curve. Yeah, you, you, learn. Know, you learn every year. Yep. The more people that come, the more you got, more um, organized you got to be. <laughs> yeah. I, and I was but, extremely impressed at the bl Battle of Blade Maidens because you guys were just but I'm also incredibly add, organized. If you're going to do a throw, do it. But remember the fun of why you're doing it. Yeah. It does get stressful. It does. But if you're taking it to the point that you're, you're making yourself crazy over it and make your, you're, you're going to lose the fun of why we do the throw. So we kind of have to reel in danger sometimes. <laughs> um, but this year he's more relaxed. He's more. Yeah, I am. But... I'm much more prepared and I have friends coming to help me. Right. And cause I like to do everything myself. I, I would, it's weird. Even having you guys come, it's weird. You came all this time, all this way, but I was like, man, we're doing some like. It's not that far. It's pretty heavy work, though, what we're doing. You know, 90 degree weather, yeah. you know, 90 degree heat. The Bill's character. Right? Yeah, why is it whenever we come to, I don't know. to your place, it's like 90? It, it, it's karma because you bring rain to us. So no. wherever you guys go, right? I know that. No. <laughs> That's what it seems like, right? No. <laughs> don't you put that evil on me, Ricky right. Bobby. Right. No. Yeah. I started thinking about it, though, and they kind of had a point. I, I mean, it rains when we go to Broken Feather. It rains, I mean, maybe. Last know. year. Now, we haven't been to Georgia, so that's not our. Oh, Georgia. They, it right. poured. It poured at Georgia, uh, and we it weren't there. poured, yeah. That was not on us. <laughs> yeah. She's like, that was not us, and it did. But, yeah, Ohio, we can't even really say anything. Like, a half hour before we get there, got there, literally the only flipping cloud in Ohio with every color in it oh, is yeah. over us. Yeah. Yeah. So that was another throw that we haven't told about. She doesn't do it every year, but Tracy Tenney holds an Iktoff throw in Georgia. I can't remember exactly where it's at. 
Yeah. And uh, Tracy's a really cool person and been into knife throwing awesome. for a very long time. I don't know if you guys have met Tracy yet. I don't. Think she so. was at Danger Fest two years ago. Right. Okay, yeah, we did. Hopefully she can come and share her from different scoring then, or it's what we do. Yeah, oh, okay. Right yeah. Yeah. Pull back yeah. Into yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, I haven't heard anything lately from Tracy. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to reach out to her and uh, see how she is. Yeah. She's planning on coming, but I hope everybody can come. You right. Know, like. Right. The more the merrier, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, so so everybody knows also for Danger Fest, um, we haven't quite posted. We were originally going to do a food truck, but that kind of fell through for this year. Um, so we all, however, though, if you have never had the Michigan Cruise food, you are about to. <laughs> Dawn makes these amazing breakfast burritos. Maria is going to make tacos for lunch on Saturday. So this is for Saturday. Um, so we, your admission fee. Pre-registration or whatever, your attendance, whatever. What's it called? Your your participation into participation. the throw or ten dollars gets you covered for meals. Yes. If you're not going to so throw, but you pay ten dollars, then that covers for you for your meals. Lunch on Saturday. And dinner. And dinner. Because apparently, we're just, well, because they you had originally put the the food truck, so. They want to, we kind of just want to try and cover most of Saturday to okay. make it convenient. And then, yeah. you know, for food Sunday on Friday, breakfast, breakfast, whatever, North Webster is right there. I mean, there's all kinds of places to go eat there. And there's a gas station even closer that has like an Elmo's subs in it that has yeah. pretty good food, actually. I like yeah, it. it does. It does. It's actually really good. So. So that, we have that covered. I can't tell you what we're having Saturday night yet because uh, Miss Candy's still working on it. I'm well, Dad said, he's got, Dad said he's got 40 pounds of. Hamburger, yeah. right. so, so I mean that could feed a lot of people, I yeah. think, right? There's yeah. a lot of tacos. Yeah. yeah. So well, we are going to use we'll have yeah, that taken care of that, and probably some for yeah. Yeah. Sounds like it might be a pasta bar or something. I, I, I'm, I'm game. I'm everything we'll figured good at this point. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're and, letting Candy do that because she's the food planner for. She's great with that. Yeah. yeah. So and for then Danger and Fest will also not be exactly it's going to be on that property you're going to the same spot except for we're not throwing right behind the bait shop this year correct um where there once was a hill last year um, where we were shooting a, where they were shooting and had the sword stuff is no longer there um and our targets will be lined up there against you'll be able to see it when you yeah, pull you'll in you'll it. be able to see it it's yeah. a nice flat it's just spot. Have, a, but, have a lot more a uh, lot more room yeah. we're planning on having 10 lanes that's the ultimate goal. I, it might be eight, but we're planning on 10 and I would like to have a range back there at the camping areas to just, just to messing around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, mm -hmm. um, if you're interested in hearing the, uh, the event schedule, I did a, a video on Instagram and Facebook and I think I put it on YouTube as well talking about what we're doing, but I'll go over it real quick. Usually on Sundays is when we have fast draw oh, mountain man. Good, good oh yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nice. That was a good time. There's Loic right there, yeah, man. That, that was fun. There's Loic. That was a good time. Jason Johnson, Bushido. I don't know if he's coming this year, but if he does, give his autograph. Um, <laughs> so usually we do all the games, fast draw, silhouette, long distance and mountain man games on Sunday. But Sundays afternoon, most people start to Head have up. to leave. They got to go back to their families and jobs and stuff. So what I decided to do is fast draw is my favorite thing. And we're also doing a new event this year, a trick shot competition. That's going to be hosted by Cody Cooper and uh, Scott Fernandez. My friends from Colorado were coming for the first time and they're incredible nice. trick shot oh, artists. They, they live together yeah. and they oh. come up with a whole, um, all, I let them just run with that. It's like, you guys just take care of this for me. They come cool. up with all the rules and everything. They're having prizes. Uh, it might even be a sponsored event, which is cool, by um, Revo Knives. I haven't heard back yet, but that would be really cool that we could build an actual big end grain wall. Oh, that's, wow. that's what oh, I want to yeah. do. I want to have like a big end grain wall so you have a much more area for doing your trick shots. But So we're doing that. We're doing fast draw. Three meters and five meters. That's always... The most exciting thing to watch, you know, it's everybody really gets into that. It's it's, it's cool to watch. It's my favorite thing. So it's we're gonna do that. Elimination or double elimination? I think we're gonna determine that on uh, how many people show up. Okay. And that how many sense. people want to do it? 
right? right. Because we're also going to be doing yeah fast draw as well. I mean, if we have a hundred people, we probably should do single elimination. Um, but uh, and then uh, of course Friday is practice. Come there, get used to the range, get used to the targets, get ready for find your Saturday line. morning. Yeah, find your line. Yep, and we'll do amateur knife, pro knife, amateur hawk, pro hawk, and then amateur no spin, pro no spin, and then. I'm not sure where it's going to fit in yet, but we are doing an instinctive knife throwing course this year. And I'm pretty stoked about that. We may be doing that off to the side during everything else. So after you're, if you're not throwing over here, you go over here and do the instinctive course. And uh, my good friend, Chris Davey is coming up early. He'll be there all week with me to help me build targets, mark lines. And during that time, we are also going to set up the instinctive course and kind of go over some things right. to see how it, it works out, you know. I, I, awesome. I do want to, I'll hit up Michael Busby. They had the Red River Instinctive Challenge a while back, and uh, that went really well. And I'm going to get some ideas from him on how they determined where the targets were or how far you were back because, you know, you want everybody to have equal distances, you know, different distances at each target, but equal. Yeah. So not one person's throwing far back all the time. Sounds you know like what I mean? Though. Yeah, yeah like I think it's going to be rad. Like I think fun. it's, it's going to be hard. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to be very challenging. Yeah, sounds like tree shot. And we'll let you do like tree shot every time. Right? We'll let yeah. you do rotational, no spin, or half spin, whatever you're most comfortable with, and whatever. If you're standing there and you think that you can do that from that distance, we'll let you do it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and uh, yeah. And people are starting to come. Um, looks like kind of Wednesday. I mean, you're allowed to come early. Yep, um, we got plenty of camping. camping. We have Camping's free. Potties for arriving on Tuesday. Um, so, and then we are staying through Monday. So if you want to stay Sunday night, head out Monday morning, um, we, we will be staying there through, through then. So that way everybody can kind of hang out. Yep. Nobody wants to end up leaving. We don't mm -hmm. want yeah, to Yeah, nobody wants to leave and, at all. So we kind of extended yeah, that's that the hardest day part. to it Monday. Fall back home. I know. Oh, back to we got to leave yeah. everybody yeah. in and it just stinks. Yeah. But, uh, so there's that. And, uh, so we're just looking forward to everybody. If you got canopies and you want to bring them, that'd be great. And especially if we continue with this Chairs hot weather. Chairs and canopies. We yeah. need and shade. I'm eating a big tent, but I only have fun. one. So, yeah. 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 yeah, if you're listening, please bring and chairs. some shade. If you're driving and, chairs. and bring some lawn chairs, please. I'm going to try and get extra than I already have, but still. Goldie brought, like, what, 24 or something? I, she, brought she brought tables and load. chairs, but our Goldie's flying in yeah. this year. So, That's yeah. fine. Um, so that way... It, just kind of think bring your lawn chairs and uh, i'm just saying she really oh yeah she mm -hmm. said i mean it made it really comfortable for everybody a, bit, a couple years yeah, ago she did yeah so uh, she brought all that to melodies oh those were hers those were yeah, yeah, yeah. she drove them wow on. man the community is second to none like yeah. how Community's willing amazing. everybody yeah. is to help yeah. each other it's yeah amazing. it's it crazy it's uh, statewide i mean you go state to state everybody yeah. why that yeah. Right. yeah where it's all at that's cool. Yeah, I can't. I can't uh, express that enough. If you're listening to this and you're, you know, you want to go to a throw, or you're thinking about going to a throw, you, you got to go. You, you got to experience this. And the people that I've met are the Good nicest, friend. coolest you people, turn to most, a friend. yeah, yeah, the honest people I've ever met. So, um, without a doubt. Yeah. So, okay. So last time we had uh, Jake Craycraft here, and he brought up a good question, and we went around the room, and he says. He asked, what are your personal goals for knife throwing? What do you guys want to get out of it? Do you guys want to just give your, just having fun? Or do you want to reach a certain level or a score? Hopefully bullseyes. <laughs> All bullseyes? <laughs> yeah. We're just starting. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Love oh, that that's kid. what he was trying to do when Love we got that home kid. that night. Love that kid. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's one of my best friends right there. He did that after the podcast. <laughs> 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 You know, shortly after he filmed this, Beaver tossed it over my fence. It's, it's gone. gone. Oh. No way. It is gone. Oh, I have oh, no man. idea where that damn thing went. I just got it. it. I just got it. Oh. Uh, a guy from Michigan, his name's Christopher Ober, made me a couple of those. I still have a cue ball one. But that was super cool, and it's, it's cool unique. Enough. It's fun to throw. Yeah. There's okay. Jake. First no spin. He's a good no spin thrower, man. Yeah, he's very good. Sure. Yeah. Oh, well... And then he's a young Lauren, and too. And Lauren and June. June. John. John, right? John. John. 
John was awesome. I think yeah. he's coming to yeah. Danger Fest. He's oh, he's definitely coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Was, yeah. He, was, he had a lot of good info, too. I don't know. He helped me with the nose spin. He's like, you know, you start at the target, you hold your arm out, you kind of hold it there, and then you sit there and flick it, and flick it, and flick yeah. it until you get it. Okay. Yeah. He's like, and once you get that, you just back up, back up, back up. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if you guys knew or not, but he got into some poison ivy over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I did too. I did too. I got just a little Dude, bit of it. I, but... As soon as I saw that there was poison ivy behind those mountain man targets, oh, yeah. I'm like, nope. Me either. Man, when I, I was allergic. a kid, I could just look at poison ivy. I'd yeah. get my fucking eyeballs. Yeah. Well, we had never shut. experienced it until this year. This is yeah. our first year, yeah. and now we've had it I got twice. It twice. Yeah, Battle this of the year. Blade Maidens. We yeah, got wait, we're in our house. Yeah, I got a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 The older you uh, get, your body changes. So yeah, because yeah, that hurts. Uh, Battle of the Blade Maidens. I got so it. So we're still really young. Really. Yeah. Like my brother, he's immune. He won't get it. Yeah, it's he, weird. he can roll around and crap, and he won't get it. But if I even get near it, I got it. You can get shots. Yeah, there's like a series of shots that you can get that makes you immune to it. And when I was a kid, I hate needles bad. Yeah. Uh, so I went to get the first shot, and I threw such a fit that I never went back for the second one. So I still get poison ivy now to this day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah, we, no fun. yeah, because I was like, oh, what's going on? And he was like, yeah, I got a little poison ivy. And he did the same thing, and he was like washing poison with Dawn oak, dish I mean, soap yeah. first, get the oil off, and then next thing you know, you're putting on the ivy dry, whatever you can put on there. Yeah. yeah. I used to get it so bad. I would take Rubbing alcohol, I heard, works the best. You know. That's just dry it out. Dry. Yeah, yeah. Some, some heavy Man, I used to take a lighter. Yeah. I would take a lighter and light it, wait till the end got hot, and I would burn it. Oh, uh -huh. it would. I would use paint it thinner. Felt good, but it I'll, I'll take the M the M M K or whatever they call it, the paint thinner, and I'll dump that on there. Really? It dries it right wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. just like clear coat. It's paint. probably not good for you, but dude, I, yeah, clear coat that's free that's paint. uncomfortable. That's <laughs> yeah. that makes me uncomfortable. Just looking M E K, at it. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, back to my original since we got like ten minutes left. But so, no, I mean, okay. so, so yeah. What about oh, show? sorry. Yes, we got on a little tangent there. So, no. You guys want to yeah, talk I about mean, what your goals are? Right for me, I I just want to be good at something. Right, like feel good about doing something, practicing at it, and actually doing it, and then passing along to achieving that goal. Yeah, I mean, passing along to others. Passing it along probably, is fun, right? Yeah. Probably the most fun yeah. for me because I love to see how happy other. people me too. Um, but cool. me, I mean, I've got a disabled placard. I don't use it. You don't see me using it. But one of the reasons I don't is because I want to try to stay active. You know, I'm fused from C2 to T2. So I've got titanium in my neck. And um, I've had 15 surgeries on my left side only um, besides my I neck. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. Since Jeez. cancer, yeah. right? Yeah. Since 2010. So that's We're why I'm like, here, girl. Yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. I'm like, oh, he's so careful when I'm walking. That's why you'll see everybody helping me. I think Brent was like, just stick to the driveway at, you know, when we were in Chili Coffee. Because yeah. he was like, you know, it's, it's dark. It. Just yeah. stick to the oh, driveway. You're I almost safe. fell multiple times. Yeah. yeah, we had a couple. And that's why I was like, well. But no, I mean, I just, I want to, I want to be comfortable with it, right? Get the instinctive, get the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a big deal for me that I want to get consistent. I always call myself that's inconsistent because I too. feel like I'm not consistent. Um, but I also like going out for an hour a night with Tim and growing. Mm -hmm. You guys throw every day? We try. That's, try. That's, we do. Uh, that is very important. And we try to throw it, together. So, so important to do can, that. Even if you yeah. can only throw for 10, 15 minutes a day, right. it right. means you a know, lot. Instead of going for our walk as an old couple being empty nesters, we're outside at our range throwing and it does drive a lot of traffic to stop by our neighbor's yeah. stop and it's quality time kids i was going to ask you about that stop. you guys have a lot of people asking because because your targets are oh, facing yes. the road i'm sure you guys have all kinds of questions right a lot of people stop yeah, at yeah we do every once in a great up. while we guys do we guys do it yeah. yeah and neighbors walk by and all of a sudden they just walk up all of a sudden you know, oh there's people here <laughs> yeah Conversation nice. starter for sure. Yeah, right? a lot of oh, people yeah. think it's an archery range, but now yes. that um, Kelly like. got the MBT sign that has the knife on the bottom, I think that helps a little. Yeah, yeah. we put a sign by the road now for oh, the nice. M MBT range. So. Yeah, you guys have an official logo for that because I've been meaning to make you something. I'm oh, the MBT, yeah, there is actually. I've just been using the MBT. So I had a flag made, MBT West, because we started helping Brent build Instead his range on yeah, the east side of the east. state. We're, so cool. MBT. East and MBT well, West send me that, is kind uh, of where we're going. So yeah, I can do that. Yeah, okay. yeah, I got that from Rebecca. But yeah, I was. I said to Brent, I'm like, he's like, yeah, 
So I did make a flag. It says MBT West, and it's got the logo on it, and it's kind of hanging off the side of the range. That's cool. That's and awesome. then we got the same one for Brent, and we brought that to him for his East Range. Right. But he's got some leveling to do, and but when his range is done, it's going to be sweet. Yeah. Then there'll be, be another throw to go through. Another fun <laughs> yeah. place to go yeah. and throw. Because... It's so nice that you guys aren't that far away from us. Right. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, we really feel like we're Michiganders. Now. Right. Michiganders. Right. Michiganders. Yeah. Michiganders. Yeah. Yeah. We always include you in the Michigan. We're, we do. I hope so. Yeah. The lake because, life. Yeah. The lake life. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of like, we, we belong to Michigan. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. What we did. Like, I mean, I mean, right? yeah, I mean, Kelly gave us the opportunity to throw different knives before we even got started, so... Before we even ordered, you know, the knives that we ordered, which, of course, I think my favorite knife to throw and most consistent throw from blade and handle is the Griffin. Um, mm. Handle, I can throw a bullseye seeker. I can throw pretty much anything, even it's whether it's scales, huh? not scales. Yeah, handle, definitely. But getting that blade throw, the wider the blade, the harder it is for my smaller hand to get Agreed. around it. So if you can get the Griffin blade, it just seems like you. it's like you're gripping the handle. So I think you can be more consistent with those. But that's it right there. The most yeah. iconic knife of all time. I've been, yeah. I've been yeah. pushing that knife for right. years. Anybody that asks me what kind of knives they should get, if they're gonna get customs, I always push them to get those because yeah. they're yeah. the best all around knife that you can buy. Yeah. I told Bill, because they just did a member spotlight for me on for work because it's unusual. Pricing in history. For women to throw <laughs> <laughs> Griffin style Who is this history. Guy? Look at this. Worth point, whatever that is. Huh. Never heard of that. Hmm. Somebody that what about you, Tim? Yeah. Of your, your, goals. your goals. Do you have any goals? I don't know. I, I just, it's just fun to do. I, you know, that's, that's, uh, I guess my goals now would be to go back to no spin, get my no spin back down. But I think farther distances. Yeah. I, I think I like Man. the challenge of throwing farther and sticking it. It's a, it's it's a good feeling, I guess, you know, when you, when you can do oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's really awesome. Um, I think another part of it would be to meet the other part of the community that I don't know. Yeah. You know, like you say, Jason Johnson, you know, more famous people to us because we're so new at it. And, right. you know, when we first met you, you know, we're just in awe, like, oh my God, look at that. Oh, he's we're, hanging you out, know. we're hanging out yeah, with Andrew. Yeah, really? exactly. Oh my gosh, you know, they're coming that, to our house. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh, this is crazy now. You're, you're just normal <laughs> down to earth people, but it, yeah. it's still the <clears> cool community and it gets bigger. And it, like you say, it is a family more. It is. You know, it's absolutely. a better family than what I got. So. Yeah. Brothers and sisters it's of the night. Awesome. Exactly. Bladed that's, family. That's probably yeah. the yeah. best part out of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. What I really enjoy. Same mindset. To really yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. We've got a lot of really good friends and we've got a lot yeah. of people we can count and on. And to me, you can never have too many friends. You know, it's what life's about. Life's too short not to have them or, you know, you got to live your life for what it is now and... Yeah, yeah. He's okay, already he's already had open heart surgery too. So I mean, he had open heart surgery and then he had a colpectomy yeah. and then I got cancer. So that all so happened hard. between 05 yeah, and twenty ten. So like I say, we live Watch life for now and yeah. do what and so, we can. Like I say, come in here so to help you. Out. I don't care. I mean, you, you guys know, are doing yep. so good. I'll though. drive a few hours to come and help you guys anytime. I can. Yeah, you that's know. why we stay active, though. <laughs> well, and the best part was honestly just sitting around throwing knives after. Oh man, oh, that yeah. that's, 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 that's fun. Like, yeah, we had. Can't beat it. Like, yeah, we had one target that we hooked that we set up, and we had a blast. Yeah. We yeah, we were, we were throwing And we all threw decent. Yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never had a good knife. That background. was awesome. Nope. Right. Yeah, dark yeah. Was looking. So, yeah. Small round. Yeah. Well, we had a nice light. Yes. Yeah, a nice light. light. What about, about you, Maria? Maria? Okay, I well, Maria. Um, I agree. I feel like it is a very blessed. I'm very blessed to be in the family of the knife throwing community. Um, I'm very honored to even be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it and i feel like for my own personal self i started out doing knives right and then i didn't know i'd do anything else then started doing some x the tomahawks right and mm -hmm. tomahawks and i think i feel like i need to get back to my knives because i feel like i'm almost doing better with my tomahawks and i've lost my knife throw a little um <laughs> so i'm like oh no but she is a tomahawk it. girl and then i started a tomahawk two yeah girl. yeah and i started the no spin which I don't know if that's why. Try and learn something else, which I'm improving on. Not the greatest, but still a no lot. No spin of is fun. hard. No spin that's is the hardest. Hard. It's, it's hard. hard, but it's hard to be a well-rounded yeah. thrower too for all yeah. of it yes. to be. You know, unless if you yeah. got hours yeah. upon hours of practice. Well, they got different you know. weights. I mean, every blade's different. Every implement's different. You know? Yeah. But I love it all, and it's so fun. 
and I love to see everybody else. I love watching everybody on the videos, you cat, all of it, Ames game. You guys, my partner your videos, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don Don got me started and it's been fun. I love every minute of it. I love meeting everybody. I love the community. I do feel like it's part of my family. <coughs> so. I look forward to going to throws more than anything. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that is. We I don't agree. even take vacation. No, it's right. our vacation. For anything yeah. else. That's yeah. our vacation. It's our vacation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well Marine throws the same night as me. Yep. Yep. She's well, got the Griffins also. The Griffins also, yep. I do love them. But yep. Do you I'll be getting more, I'm sure, of all kinds of them, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Eventually, wow. but, yep. Yeah, we just It's started. an obsession. It is yeah. becoming yeah. an obsession. Yeah. Yes. Before you know, uh -huh. you have a hundred knives laying around. Yep, exactly. Like, just giving them away or something. Right, you know? right. Mm -hmm. What about you, Marty? Um, I just started watching Maria and just watching her. She got so happy. I mean, she was just like, she glowed. You know what I mean? After she'd come home and you know, hanging out with Don. And she'd just be in a super mood, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it just, it calmed her whole spirit, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Like it just calmed her down and yeah. So I'd start throwing with her, you know? And it does, it relaxes you. It really does, yeah. you know? It's kind of like you can throw all your emotions <laughs> into that knife and, you know, get rid of the stress in the day. You can, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Something about hearing that hear noise it, too, you know, right? That that just to hear it hitting that, you yeah. know, that, that it's very satisfying. Wood. Yeah. It is very satisfying. Yeah. That's what it really is. It's yeah. about satisfying. And it's fun, you know, it, it's a good time. Do you have any do, goals do you, right now? Do you want to get better at something? Or I want to get a lot better at everything, but I'm just trying to have fun. Hang That's out, good. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't plan on being up. a professional, but, you know, I, I want to hang out. You know, I like people. It's a good time. Well, I'm glad you're It's always a good time. Participating. All man. the people yes. are cool. You know, they yes. they take you in like a brother. You yeah. know, it's, it's it's a good time. Well, I think I met a lot of new friends, and I'm not a real outgoing person. You know what I mean? I'm right. pretty quiet and shy, but it's a good time. Cool. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad you've been coming, man. Yeah. It's great. Well, people give you pointers, too, which yeah. is helpful, you know, right? Yeah, that's so cool, yeah. Helpful. So yeah, it's like not, not in a rude way, you know, yeah. like, oh, dude, you know, you try this, you know, not like, oh, man, you do this all wrong, yeah. or, you know. Right. There's you know, no you, there's no one shot, way to throw it out. Sometimes it helps, no. yeah. Yeah, you it's know, just right foot, left foot, you know, everybody, whatever, yeah. you know, everybody's got their own whatever, everybody you just gotta find it, you know. Thing. Everybody has their own way, yeah, not one method works for everybody. it's cool, once you get your line, you know, and you start sticking them, you're like, yes. Uh, yeah, confidence awesome. goes yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, and if I can be her, I'm like, yeah, sweet. <laughs> and she's done it no way longer than I have. <laughs> well, that's what Tim says too. Is he is just like that. Yeah, so you and guys Tim are helped me a lot. I mean, me and you got a lot of good I info. Was like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure we just did that last night, guys, and we were like, yeah. okay, well, we're just on a different level fun. than what yeah, you we're yeah. trying to that achieve, and we're just going to go back. Uh, we had a different goal for our, 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 our amount. We had our own goal. We wanted to get one center yeah. cut out of all the throws, at least. We were throwing at cards, and that's, that's what I was doing. You know, <laughs> right. Throwing cards. <laughs> And it was well, yeah, it was between, yeah, you and Tim were you basically. Tim was giving me front money, yeah. man. That was, was At least he was keeping fun. you on yeah. your toes. It was. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like that. I like that challenge. Yeah. All right, looks like we're running up on 57, 58 minutes here. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to conclude that one. Thank you guys so much for coming and helping me. And thank you for coming and doing the podcast with us. I mean, that means a lot. Good time. And uh, we'll do it again sometime. Um, anyone listening, I'm not sure if I will get another podcast out before Danger Fest. And if I don't, I guarantee the, the, the podcast I do after that is going to be fire because I'm going to oh, have yes. a bunch of stories. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. And I'll try to take Thank some you. pictures. Well, See you. Peace out. Bye. Oh. Very cool. yeah. Not bad, right? No. no. Just chilling. Just oh. chilling, just talking. And it does go pretty quickly. Like, it yeah. He's like, I still feel a little warm. You need that uh, apple. I like that. Like, right apple. I like that. Yeah, a whole thing. I got, I got a big bottle. Yeah. I was like, okay, we gotta be done soon because I can't drink my water. So gotta... Oh, you.